Hello, my friends. If you guys like what you see, I would really appreciate if you did hit that subscribe button and as well hitting that bell notification so you always know when we upload. Yeah, I would really appreciate that. Thank you again, and please enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Pat here, and this is the first type of video that I've ever done on this particular channel, because usually we do like, you know, bloopers or we do role plays. But instead, today, we're going to be doing a breakdown of said roleplay. So I could tell you guys exactly how I did X, Y, and Z of a certain roleplay or certain intro, certain something that took a lot of time to do. And the one that we're going to be breaking down first is the My Hero Origins intro slash trailer. It was an absolute blast to do. This is probably my like the project I'm most proud of on YouTube at the moment. And... By the way, before this continues any longer, thank you guys so much for the support of it. Holy crap. I've been stressed out for the past month on this. This project really did take three and a half to four weeks to do. And I'm so happy that you guys loved it. Oh my god. <laughs> I was stressing out up until like, you know, three hours after the video was released. So, yeah, I'm a stress ball. I know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. But anyways, we're going to be breaking down exactly how I did it because I get a lot of questions of how you do certain fights, how you do certain sections, how you do this, how you do that. And this is a particular video that I need to show you guys exactly how we did it. So we show you guys what mods we use or just core mods that we use, what programs I'm using, what I actually did in X, Y, and Z. And yeah, we're going to freaking do this. Right, Riku? You see, yeah, he's going to be doing that for the rest of the time because he's a model block. <laughs> That's going to be fun to show off at one point. I hope, uh, by the way, I hope that this video isn't too, too long. I'm going to try my best to not make it too, too long. But we're going to, you know, do this. I Basically, we're going to start off immediately just inside of Minecraft itself. And we're going to see what the heck these blocks are. So this is off of a mod called Blockbuster. Uh, this particular version, um, as you can see, Riku's just standing there normally. And this Riku looks like he's breathing. Um, this one is an emoticons mod version of Blockbuster, and the core mods that we're going to be needing are Blockbuster, emoticons, and Amperture, which Amperture is a camera mod that we use for this, so you're definitely going to want that. So, first off, you can see that there's the Riku model heel. If I right-click on Riku and hit edit, you can see, like, you know, this is how his model is and everything. It's pretty cool. I gave him, like, you know, I have his hat on them, which, by the way, it's, it's its own separate model, which I'm using as a body part on his body so that, you know, it stays on his head like that. Also, I have his, um, I have his little paintbrush right here. I'm using that as an extension of his right arm. So that's also a thing. I won't be going too, too detail about all Blockbuster stuff. If you guys want me to, I can make a separate video on Blockbuster and how I did X, Y, and Z. So we'll save that for like another video, but this is just basically general overview. Um, so the one thing that you will see is that this particular, oh yeah, there was, oh yeah. There's a lot of models. <laughs> There's a lot of models. Each one is custom made that I made. I had to make about 60 plus models for this uh, intro. So yeah, there was a lot. Um, but yeah, you could see here that this one, this particular model is just normal, uh, normal Minecraft. So if I go ahead, hit left arm, I'm rotating his arm around. He could do this and stuff like that. Yay. I'm having point and stuff, which is cool and all, you know, that's cool. But these particular models are even better, which is something I really like is that you go into pose here. You're able to bend the, 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 the joints basically. So like, you know, now I could rotate his arm like this. Or, if I could go here, I could rotate his elbow. So, this is a lot better for, like, you know, doing better poses or doing fight scenes. You're going to want to use emoticons. The only thing about emoticons, though, is that after a while, if you put more than five in one area, it starts to lag a lot. So, be careful. Because <laughs> um, I have a section on the other side of the map that has about 30 plus of these particular models. And my computer is pretty beefy, and I could barely, like, go three frames. So... Yeah, be careful on that. <laughs> so, yeah. Also, I have the actual model of the hat here that I'm using for Riku, which, you know, it's its own model by itself. Uh, I had to edit it a little bit to make it. And also, if you're curious how we make these models, um, I commissioned someone by the name of Devon to make this hat, and then I import it into Minecraft itself, which I could show in a different video. Anyways... We're going to go to the actual, you know, intro. So that's basically the gist of how I set up all the characters. But now let's go to the actual intro. So if I go here and I put on my display capture. Woo! Look at there. Also, my thumb, my wallpaper. Yeah. Have fun crying, everyone. 
I, I as much as this scene cry makes me cry, this is my favorite thumbnail of OO, okay? Anyways, we're going straight into it. Woo! Here it is, the actual video. It's not nearly as intense as, you know, some of my other videos, especially with the the Alamos versus Demon fight in FTO was a lot more serious than this. But it was pretty serious nonetheless. So we'll show off everything. Now, when it comes to the part that Xylo did, um, I just kind of plopped it on top. I wasn't in charge of that part, but that's mostly just using a couple camera mods with those mo with those model blocks that I showed in here. That's kind of what he was doing. And he had like other people helping him out with like, you know, doing spells and stuff like that. Pretty easy, pretty easy stuff. I think you'd be able to get it, but it, it does take time to get used to, but I believe you can get it. Uh, we've been doing that style for years, but this, however, <laughs> oh boy, here we go. All right, so first off, the beginning intro of the song, as you can see, like, yeah, we're going to be, um, you know, I'm going to divide this up as much as I possibly can so that you guys can see everything. So this is basically just a still shot camera moving forward here um, of the school. Michael actually did a little bit of post editing, as you can see the sun here is doing a little bit of a shine here to make it so like, you know, the sun's doing that. Also, I added a little bit of a lens flare effect to make it seem like, you know, it's like you're watching a camera a little bit, um, which is cool and all. Goes into the next shot here, which is a shader that we're using called BSL that lets you get this like little, I mean, Michael did a lot of editing as well to make it look a little bit shine and add that ring effect there. But we're using a shader called BSL. Highly recommended. I use it all the time. Freaking use it. Um, go ahead, make, do some crazy stuff with it. I'm certain you can, you know, come up with some crazy shots. Now, the first, a little bit of intense shot that we have here is actually this right here. This first shot right here. Uh, so basically this is a book. This is a book. Uh, this is just a book model that we have on the table here. Uh, I would go to it, but I'm not going to show off the school for like, you know, role play purposes. I want you guys to like, you know, be able to see it. Also, I guess I'm saving a project. Thanks, Adobe. <laughs> cool <laughs> but michael basically made it so that we took this model block and we put two pages on top of here and basically it grows you know it grows over time that's basically it it grows with the with these images grow while the book is growing while you're looking more and more towards the book um those particular images which you will see right here oh all of this stuff which by the way i forgot to mention we're using adobe premiere and we're using Adobe Photoshop. Those are the two programs I'm using the most here. So you can see um, those particular shots that you see right here. These ones are that guy and that guy. Which, um, you know, plastered it on top of there. And then this one just has moving pictures on top of it. Which is basically we added uh, video on top of here to make it look really, really nice. It's, um, you just green screen it. That's why, that's why the pictures here are green screen. You green screen it. You put those p images on top of each arrow, layer it around and basically call it GG. It takes a little bit of time to do that. Um, I personally didn't know how to do it. So I had Michael to do it, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's still pretty, it, it came out really, really nice. So that's what we have there. Now, next up. Oh, here we go. Now it starts getting to the, like, you know, the nitty gritty stuff of why it took many, many weeks to do. Here we go. First effect here is a transition effect that I got from a website called footagecrate.com, which, uh, or production crate, production crate. Yeah, I guess it's production crate. It's footage crate. It's, 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 it's footage crate, footage crate.com. There we go. You want footage, footage crate. Footage crate is amazing. Um, is a, is a website. I pay 70 bucks a year for it, but it gives you all effects. Like if I go here to, um, you know, let's say magic, you can see like all these like energy balls and everything. These magic circles. You guys, you definitely have seen these. I was going to say, you definitely have seen these somewhere. That's where we're getting it. Also, a lot of the stuff from comics. So you go here for comics. You can see like, you know, we've got our comic strips and stuff. Highly recommended if you want to make your own videos. It does cost about 70 bucks a year. So if you have some money and you feel like doing it, go ahead and do so. If not, uh, I think there is a free trial that you're able to download five effects uh, at a time. Uh, per day you say you get like 20 free out of the 107 so you're able to um you're able to download up to five per day so you know if you don't want to pay for it you can do that but that's up to you so here we go next on the list Woo! here we go now we're starting to get into the nit and gritty of it all so as you can see we have a moving camera shot of these comic strips which these individual comic strips 
are right here for Photoshop. Here's this. Here's our individual comic strips, which by the way, these are all, these drawings are all made by Lav. I think you all know Lab's art by this point. It's amazing. <laughs> Lab's art is amazing, and the fact that they drew out every single character in, or in My Hero Origins is absolutely ridiculous. I love them to death. Good job, Lab. Freaking, you freaking crazy, crazy bugger. <laughs> so we have here. We just, I just made it so like you know, it's like a still image here. Yeah, you can see. Yay! It's all cool and all. So we have like this like comic strip. Put all of them there, and then eventually. You probably noticed that it goes into the shot where it switches over to their names. This is a tricky one that I did. All right, here's a tricky one. Okay, here's a tricky one. So we have this. It now goes over to here, which, by the way, you can see here. I it's basically like I'm layering two images on top of them. So basically, this is a, a colored image and this is an opaque image a little bit. Uh, and then I put like words here, some effects here yada yada to make it happen and we did this for every single character now how did i make it so that you know it goes down to this immediately besides moving the camera this ridiculously high up really really quickly here as you can see in individual frames you can make it go out even slower here um this is all one giant page this is all one giant page which i'll show off i believe it's right here well this is another page here that's actually not complete i didn't finish this one but this is like a this was like a temporary page that i was showing off um because this was before yuki showed off her second character so we have it all as one giant shot um ignore the fact that they're doubled here as well this is just a temporary shot that i was showing people off Another thing too, you see, you see here is like one giant shot. I even added this bottom one here that had like a wham pow and the actual logo, just in case if you go down to like here, yeah, like you, you can see it barely. You can see it right there. Just in case like this shot was going down and eventually was gonna show that, I wanted to make it so that, you know, it wasn't just pure white. So I made a completely other like um, like panel here to make sure that was going down, that everything was good. So basically, we did this four times. We did these are four different pan. This is four different sheets that we did this four times um, for this. Which, by the way, that took forever because I'm not a Photoshop expert at all. I'm not that good at it. But this is the shot. It was pretty cool. Um, you could see, yeah, you could even see like at the bottom there. You're able to see it. <laughs> you see the my hero right there. Goes into another, um, goes into another transition shot, which I showed you. That's footage crate. Now we're back over to the shot that you guys were seeing right here. That's what this is right here. So you see that goes down, moves over, and now you can see that they stayed right there for a little bit. Um, and then we had that, and you can see that even at the bottom there, we have a little like wham pow going on. So this, all of this too, while it's all moving like this. It's basically a moving segment. So if I can actually like show it off right now, this is a, if I do it, um, yeah, this is all it right here. This is, oh, am I hitting buttons? Stop hitting buttons. So this is all moving segments. This is all little tiny stuff. You can see like mega set, mega set, mega set, mega set. Uh, three different mega sets because that's all you need for this. Three different mega sets. Um, this little tiny one right here is like your moving one. So you can see like right here, this little this this particular one is it moving super fast and that's how we do that it's really cool and this is just a little shot where we moved you know a little bit from like you know starting position was like starting position was right there ending position was right here and then it switches over to this where we do the basically the same thing again um that took a long time to do because it's just really, really tedious, but we haven't even gotten to the very, very tedious parts yet, which I'm about to show. Yeah, it's really, it's tedious to do these like little tiny, like, you know, photos that are in Photoshop, but when you start using actual footage in these little shots, gets even more tedious, but I'll show you guys that in a second here. So we're gonna go around and I'll show you everything here, okay? So here we go, we're back here, go on, no fear, no, go on until the end. Here is the first moving shot, so. This moving shot here is this this one right here, this Blake comic sheet. That's what this is. One, two, three. That's what that is. We put this on top of like another sheet, as you can see. That you know, our basic thing is that we have like a sheet going on. As long as uh oh, is my Adobe breaking? My Adobe likes breaking sometimes. There it goes. Um, you see how it like moved down? This is all one sheet again, and these are individual clips. 
which these individual clips are if I can get this. By the way, you like how uh, disgustingly awful my stuff is? I know a lot of you are probably panicking. You can see this is what this shot is. This particular shot right here that we made is this one right here. That's what this is. I know I added some color and everything to make it look really vibrant and orange because I like the color orange. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but this one, because of the fact that um, it is this this particular image is also moving, you can see that the comic strip is also moving. I had to make sure that these particular images, these videos, were moving with the comic strip to make sure that it looks like, you know, to make it look like, you know, it's seamless as one go. This was the tedious part because you could go here. I could click inside. Um, oh, no, wait. Stop that. Um, this one right here. You can see, like, I'm going to click right here. Oh, yeah, you can see. <laughs> I'm moving the entire one now. Now I've lost the illusion. Ah, no, I lost the illusion. That's okay. Um, I wanted I wanted this, this particular clip. So you can see here. It's a little tiny moving here. We added some cropping too to make sure that I was taking out all the black screen around of it because, you know, we're trying to fit inside this comic strip area so that it moves. And you can see that um, it moved with it and stuff like that. It moved a little bit with it there, which, you know, that's just basically, you know, adding at the beginning here, you hit a position, you move it up a little bit over here and then GG. I have to make sure though that like my biggest concern with this, unfortunately, the biggest concern was keeping this inside the box it would seem easy. You just got to move it with the box. But for some reason, sometimes they like moving around. And I had to like tediously, you know, make sure they stayed in the box. Because, oh my god, that was a pain. That was an absolute pain shot to do. But this is, uh, but yeah, that's what this is. This one was pretty cool. The first ever comic strip uh, moving that I did. Uh, to make it like, you know, look like it's one big shot there. And you're still looking at a page here. It goes into a shot right here, which... Uh, as you can see now, we're on another page, which is top five heroes, and we have this going on now. Now we have this. This particular scene is not really anything crazy, if I'm not mistaken. That's that. Yep. This is a moving shot here. That mo This is a animated thing from Footage Crate. That's what you see here. That's moving. That's what's moving around in the background right there. That's moving with the clip here, which this particular clip is, I believe it's this one here. Um, I believe it's this. Yeah, it's this guy right here. Another green screen. Um, these guys are moving with it, and we're put it on another page. As you can see, there's pages underneath it right here. Uh, there's stuff underneath it. Also, when we got these five heroes right here, is a screenshot which I had the green screen. This is this right here is the original shot. As you can see, green screened it all out, and boom, they're right there. Sorry if I'm losing a lot of you. This is probably like some like really really intense stuff here, but. If you guys are still following along, I really appreciate it. This it's very challenging. I know. Uh, I, me trying to explain this too, because it's the first time I've ever made a video where I'm explaining all of this. So I'm really hoping that you guys are able to follow with me, and hopefully it's uh, you know a solid, a solid description. Also here, this is just a little monarch butterfly thing going on. Nothing too special from footage. Great. It's pretty good. Another one right here. Now we starting to get into these giant panels where we have moving shots with aperture camera now the aperture camera itself is pretty solid i'll show you actually inside of minecraft what we mean by aperture camera shots here um if i can go into minecraft there we go much better so we have aperture camera shots um this is what an aperture shot looks like inside here it's um a little oh yeah don't mind it you know flickering that's just you know how it goes but you can see this is how we're making this camera shot here boom this is for this is for a particular shot that's later on in this uh, later on, but you can see how it works. Like if we hit play here, and it moves right here. It's a moving shot, very pretty, very pretty moving shot right there. And this is for like I said a later scene, but that's what we did for all. That's when we say aperture. That's what this is. Also, I'm gonna get rid of Minecraft because now it's gonna do that for the rest of the time. Stop that! I don't know why it does that. Anyways. So that's what these shots are. That's why you're seeing a moving camera with these guys. Also, hopefully, yeah, there it goes. You can see a little bit of a moving camera. Also, Lav drew the teachers. <laughs> They're so freaking cute, and I just have them moving up and down from the shot here. Um, actually, let me um, let me have it full screen so you guys could see it. Uh, we have a full shot there. Another one right there, which, uh, like I, like I was saying before, this particular shot right here was a little bit challenging to do. 
because I had to make sure that each of the, you know, each of the videos were moving with the with this page here to make it like it seem like you're actually still looking at a comic book. Um, very very annoying process because I literally had to go, uh, I literally had to go frame by frame here, frame by frame to make sure that it lined up because uh, some reason it didn't like it. Also, do you like uh, uh, Anna? <laughs> She's the most creepiest character, I swear. <laughs> it, Yuki requested me to do that specifically, and I was like, you know what? You know what? I'm going to have fun with that. So there we go. Next shot here, as you can see, is another pan down of that. We have two separate um, uh, shots of Riku and Shizu, and I believe that's Yuto, and I forgot Brandon's character's name. Eh, y you know who he is. <laughs> Uh, we got Michael's character, Devin's character, my character. We'll just say that. I'm still learning everyone's characters' names. Uh, but there we go. Another one going down with all the teachers, including the principal, which is played by me. That's going to be fun to play. Um, and then we have another camera, uh, camera moving shot here, which you can see we have actual animation with Jakey's character right there. That one is a moving character, which is very, very similar to how Riku is currently moving like this. How he's moving like his arm uh, see boom those are two different shots which basically are two different uh ticks here i won't go too into it because this will take forever for me to explain how it works but we had some moving shots there and it basically jakey is just repeating himself over and over and over again and i just happened to have the camera shot right there really really nice and then this is probably the easiest camera shot that i did of the entire day which was me just going forward into a building with uh, a footage crate thing going on right here, which is pretty cool goes into it now We're into the motivation which this shot Very very fun to do as you can see we have a lot of explosions going on also. What's up art tech? Uh, we have a lot of explosions going on here uh, Behind these trees here now this particular shot is very very basic at first the very very basic shot it is um, It is just trees welcome look it is just trees. This is the shot that you're seeing right here. It's flipped, but it's the same exact shot. All I had to do here instead was if I go into my right file here is this is the shot on top of it. So I cut out these trees in front of it. And then you, that's why you could see that there's explosions behind these trees. So that's something that that's a little, little camera uh, camera thingy that we had to do here, which was pretty cool. So we have a bunch of explosions here I just added as many effects as I possibly could before my computer could crash uh, I shook the camera a little bit added a little explosion in front of everything which then goes into the lightning bolt right here Which goes into some footage crate stuff into the sky shot now the sky shot Woo! This shot these shots here uh, I'll play it out for you guys right now. So these particular shots took the absolute longest to do inside of Minecraft. I'm going to show you guys a little clip of what actually it is here. So if I go right here, this is what the clip actually is that you're seeing here is this. If it actually pops up here, pop up, pop up, you freaking idiots. Uh, they're just there. They go. There they are. So this is what you're actually seeing is a bunch of characters coming in and out. It's basically three still people, basically how it works, three to four still people, and they're rotating between models over and over and over again. It's three different three different models. Um, they're just switching over, over and over again. It This one took a long time to do because I've never done something like this before, but that's what it is. I had to make an individual model of every single character and put them on top of three to four different players, have them switch out every single second. Which then, in order to make sure that we have a nice shot like this, nice shot like this, oh, look at that freaking Xylo's face. That face, that face is going to haunt me this entire series, I could already tell. But in order to get those shots, you could probably already see them right here, we needed to have multiple green screens. So we have a green screen here. We have a orange screen here. We have a blue screen here, we have a purple screen here, and we have a yellow screen here. Why are we using different screens? Is because everybody in My Hero Origins uses at least one of every single color. Um, so if I were to, like, you know, have a purple screen here, you would not see the hair. They would be completely gone. If I were to use a green screen, what's a good option of a green screen? Here we go. Green screen right here. 
with uh, Mario's and Marshy's characters here. If we had the green screen right here, the, the hair and the shirt would be completely gone and they would just be floating there without hair and she would just be a disembodied head. So we had to make sure that, you know, I have different, you know, different shots here. Also, this is still my favorite shot because poor Riku. <laughs> you could just assume that the giant explosion from here, uh, this one, this one right here that comes up right here, just assume that's Riku. <laughs> that probably is Riku, honestly. Um, and this is what we did here. Funny enough, Davis was the only, like, really, really weird character. Oh, no, wait. Mitch was also another one because I had to make sure I had to model in his skateboard here. Uh, which was... He, the model's really cool. It's really easy. Just place on the feet. Um, Davis's character is the most funniest because this is actually a tree mob, I think, from Mo Creatures mod, I believe. And he's I just made it so I put him on his feet. I just put him on his feet and now he's riding it. <laughs> Because he has telekinesis, so I'm just making him ride like a log, like like just some Chad, pretty much. So we had to do that over and over. Added some effects here on Sika. Also, you probably noticed, too, this behind shot here is just a normal Minecraft shot. Added some blur to it, and then I added some cloud effects around everybody. That pretty much is just to make it seem like, you know, we're not, like, you know, in one go. And then here I have, uh, oh, go back. There we go. Lastic, I have a little bit of uh, sunflower effects here because uh, Lastic's character is plant-based. And then we have Zoo, who's absolutely giant because he's basically Ant-Man. <laughs> so there we go. Really, really nice. Now these last shots here. Eh, we have Blockbuster moving forward here in these characters. And then we have more models, which is the theme. We have some still models, which I made them do different poses. And I have an aperture camera angle moving around to every single individual one here really really nice and that's what it's saying switching between different camera angles here there we go yada yada and then we have this one which i basically these are basically three different scenes so one scene is uh the venus right here do i have it yeah the first scene is just normal venus second scene is a little bit crouched venix um, Venus and then the third scene is her hand up in the air saying it's time for school basically so that's a very basic um, basic thing that we did for Blockbuster like I said before if you guys want me to do I could do tutorials for Blockbuster if you really want me to it does take a long time it's more of like these things are more of the tedious of it. it's like you can't really teach this stuff it's more of like you just have to understand basic human anatomy and if an arm is bending behind someone's head like three times um unless that's like a superpower of theirs they're probably not doing that normally because they probably be in very very much pain so you have to just you know understand you know what looks like a good shot but also doesn't make a character look like they have weird proportions so there's that. And then we have a next shot here, which is just a nice screenshot of the school with every single group that we already filmed. Nothing moved there. Even got Venus's arm still sticking up there. And then it fades out into the logo with the camera shot there. And that is basically a rundown of how we did this intro. Now, like I said before, um, this one took a long time to do. I mean, me trying to explain everything here uh, I only, I did bare bones explaining it all because I could go explain how I moved everything around here to make sure everything looked good. Um, I needed to make sure that, uh, <laughs> I need to make sure that, you know, like I was able to explain it to people who don't know, you know, too, too much about everything. So like I said, if you plan on making something this extreme, just know you won't be able to make this tonight. <laughs> Um, also too, probably I should actually let you guys know, um, if I go to, if I go to Google Docs, let's go to Google Docs here. Um, booyah! Woohoo! Google Docs! So this is a basic, uh, rundown of how I did everything for this, um, intro. I had to write everything out to make sure that, um, we had to write everything out to make sure that, um... You know, everything looked out good. Funny enough, the chorus was actually supposed to be a giant fight. Like, we were supposed to have a stereotypical... Everyone was going to be fighting a giant, like, robot or giant bug or something like that. But um, it was a lot easier to do what I just did there, even though it wasn't that easy. But a giant fight would have been a lot harder to do. And a lot of people are still working on their mic, um, FTO 
endings, so they weren't around to help me too, too much with uh, cinematics with that, which is perfectly fine. I'm not going to yell at anybody for that, but um, yeah, there's a lot that goes into this, my friends, a lot that goes into it. Now, my friends, on that note, I do apologize if I was kind of all over the place with it. Um, I'm not the best at explaining these things too much. I usually don't, and when I do tutorials, I usually know more of what I'm talking about than what I'm doing right now. Because <laughs> this was my first ever making an intro of this caliber. Yeah, you could say that FTO was, you know, a little bit... You know, FTO was pretty in-depth too, but MHO blew it out of the water when we came to how in-depth it was. Um, thank you guys so much for the support of it, though. I'm very happy you guys liked it. And also, I'm very happy if you guys stuck around. This is a half-hour video. I am so sorry. <laughs> um, I'm really happy if you did stick around to the end. Really does mean a lot. Um, and also, if you guys want to see more of breakdowns on how the heck I do certain things in um, role plays and series in general, let me know in the comments below. I would love to see if you guys want to see more. Also, if you guys want more tutorials on, like, blockbuster, scene making, um, skin making, model making, um, let me know. Because I know a lot of you guys have been coming up to me, and they, we've been watching, you've been watching all of us origin stuff. And you're probably wondering, how in God's name do you do that yourself? So, if you guys want to know, let me know in the comments below, and uh, I'll be happy to, um, you know, answer to your calls. You guys are really, really curious about that, because... Uh, it's not gonna be a, um, it's not gonna be a, like, you know, a five second video. This stuff takes a while. Like I said, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, uh, tedious work. It's a lot of, you know, messing up. You're gonna mess up a bunch of times. This intro, I messed up so many times, but you just gotta keep working through it. Uh, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna screw up, but the end product is what you're aiming for. And once you got the end product in there, oh, it feels so good. Especially like when your guys' feedback for this intro. Oh my God. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> Uh, but thank you guys again for joining. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys are super excited for My Hero Origins. I'm stupidly excited. Very, very excited for that. Um, and on that note, thank you guys for joining me. And uh, stay tuned for more role plays and videos coming out shortly. Thank you guys again. Take care.